look for Emerson is very youthful, very playful, kind of fun. Um, keeping kind of to the youthful spirit, we're making their skin just look really perfected, um, really even, kind of natural glowing skin, a little pop of pink on the cheek to keep it just very youthful. Um, the eye makeup is very much kind of going to the party or going out for the evening um, and having a little bit of fun. It's a winged cat eye in a black, um, and it's all about the kind of black dark gel. And then we are partnering it with a little bit of a sparkle shadow, which creates a very um, soft, radiant glow kind of on the brow bone that has a little bit of shimmer that picks up in the light. Um, keeping the lips really soft, kind of a mauve tone nude, and just really fresh, again, about fresh skin and really strong, bold eyeliner. Now, I've seen a lot of the cat eye look on the runway. How important is that look, you know, that for women to, you know, adapt to? Um, I think with looking at things from the runway and making the back reality for life is not everyone can pull off quite as strong of an eye. Right. So I think what's better is keep kind of the elements of maybe you want to do a stronger eye. Start off with like a gel eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner and build it up to maybe twice as strong as you would on a normal basis is a good way to look modern or look kind of with what's in, but yet you don't have to go all the way full force to what you see on the runway. So, uh, sometimes women, they overdo with the eyes and then they have the bold lips and it's like, you know, pick one or the other. What yeah. do you think about that? Yeah, definitely. We are definitely doing that today. Um, we're going to a really soft, pale, um, nude color on the lip to go counteract to the really bold black eyeliner. Any beauty tips that women should be indulging in for the spring? Um, most important is moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. Um, <laughs> my favorite product at the moment though is BB cream by far. Um, Bobby's BB cream is great because it really looks like skin. It doesn't look white, it doesn't look chalky. And we actually make them for all skin tones, which is unique because most brands tend to make one or two shades. Um, so we have, the BB cream is great because it's just really lightweight. You can use it all over the face. You can use it under the eye. It's just a really beautiful product. Now, the BB creams, I haven't even gotten involved in that yet. Do you think that that's a trend that's gonna stay or is it just hot for now? Um, it's a new trend to the United States, but it's actually been in Asia for quite a few years now so and it's a, probably a beauty staple there um, I don't think it's a trend that'll disappear I think it's like a tinted moisturizer I think the way women are using them maybe is a trend right now they think that it's the end-all be-all product it's not it's still a foundation you still need to use skincare with it but I think because they have skincare benefits people are taking it to the extreme um, but I think it's an amazing product that really makes your skin just look perfect but still treat it like a foundation and use great skincare underneath it Okay, now you know Valentine's Day is coming up and what key color should women be rocking besides red? Besides red. Um, I think you can wear, um, you know, pinks, orange, I think is a really fun color as well. Um, orange is definitely kind of one of the hot colors of spring, um, whether it's like a corally tone or a really bold, like intense orange. And I think that's a color that's kind of just as much show stopping as a bright red or a pink, but a little bit unexpected. So it's a beautiful tone that you can wear as well. Okay, ladies, we gotta wow them. We gotta wow them. Thank you for Thank giving you. me the beauty rundown.